With today's changing market dynamics, we need to be one step ahead of our competitors when it comes to service. But how can we convey this to our guests when they are remote? They can only experience that once they get here, right? So we were exploring many different ways of uh, demonstrating to them our unique uh, ambiance, the senses, the sanctuary for the senses as we call it uh, at the Banyan Tree. And that's when we started looking at the opportunity of virtual reality. The VR video turns out to be the perfect tool to teleport your guests to uh, the location without them actually being here. And then when you've got one tool for multiple channels, especially when you can do your 360 and your VR together in one tour, well, that's an advantage. I feel like it's becoming more of a media standard in hospitality, so it's good to be the first one out of the block in gaining experiences with the multiple setups that happen. Well, we already have seen improvements when it comes to the way we present ourselves at sales meetings. Showing our property through VR goggles sets a very good atmosphere for the meeting. I mean, I was most recently at the ITB in Berlin, and I can tell you I had a line of people just waiting to just take a look at this new technology. So the wow effect is still very much there. And that does, I would say, play a role when it comes to converting deals. The concept of production combined with that of distribution, well, that's appealing because here we've got a company that says, we take care of both in terms of production as also ensuring that the end user gets a chance to use it in uh, a source market like Russia. So we were very picky when it came to who we would select in terms of the media production. Initially, I was pretty skeptical about uh, VR video because the quality is generally low and the content is not really very catchy. But uh, when I saw the first take of uh, V Resorts, their videos were much more impressive than what we had seen produced by other companies, even within a similar price range. Well, we did our shooting in the first, uh, well, the first week of Christmas, I would say, so when it was peak period and we were 100% occupied. I was pretty surprised to see how professional the VR team were and uh, well, we didn't have any complaints, whether it was from guests or from the staff and it was all the team effort that kind of brought the production to its fruition.